Um, this house found me. The, I didn't find it, it found me. And, and everything about this is a God thing. I remember it very well. It was Lee's Facebook post of the video that she made telling the story about the trip into the country and uh, how she came upon the house that day. And um, as I watched it, it, I don't know, it just spoke to me. It just, something just came over me and it said, you need to call and find out more about this. You know, it was just divine intervention and I believe in those things. And we were right there. And so we're just driving and when you come that way on Elkwood section, it just shows up out of the blue. And that's exactly what happened. I'd never been here, I'd never seen the house before, but the minute I saw it, I knew instantly. And it was... Um, it just hit me that way, that I needed to be involved. It was spiritually overwhelming to see it that first time. She started kind of talking to me about it and, and how uh, what she saw impacted her and, and the need of uh, getting involved uh, with the project uh, because there's kind of a gap of uh, uh, children or teenagers in, in this community that are kind of the forgotten ones, you know, everybody takes care of the early, early ones and take care of the elder. But there's, uh, there's kids out there that are trying to, to get ahead, get educated, uh, want, are looking forward to have a good environment. And uh, this is a perfect opportunity to uh, foster and nurture that kind of uh, service for the community. Um, I think the aspect of it being young girls, um, maybe from the early teenage years through high school, is, is such an impressionable um, time in a young woman's life and and I know how important that is for them to have structure and for them to have an education and for them to have some sort of family semblance and and I just th I just thought you know that this is something that is lacking um, I'm sure these girls are probably sitting in foster care or wherever they may be and they're thinking that wh what is going to happen to me? Where am I going to go? I'll never have the opportunities that some of these other people have and this is their chance and even though it may only be eight or ten girls, that's a difference that we're making in a community because they can just impact so many people moving forward. We take a lot of things for granted. Uh, uh, for instance, uh, basic needs, uh, the, the ability to have a, a place to lay your bed at night and have three meals a day and, and have someone that looks after you just simply uh, encourages learning and, and people to try to, to get ahead in, in life. There's so many kids out there that don't have that benefit and, and it's really not, uh, that help is not a, a tremendously expensive uh, proposition. We're just talking about helping someone just on their basic needs. Uh, they're going to put, the kids are going to put their brains and their desire and their ability to move forward. So it's up to us, to the community, to look after uh, the forgotten ones and, and help them move forward. I think that as a community, um, like Ray said, the forgotten ones are the ones that fall between the cracks, and there's a lot of those kids out there, and all they need is, is a loving family and structure. And this is something after going out there, and if you go out there and you see the house, and you see the property, and you just see the potential of what is there and the opportunities that are there, not just from being in that house, but the, the land and the barn and, and just all these things, you know. Um, I think it's just going to be a wonderful place for a child to grow up or come of age and graduate from high school. I think it's going to be a very, very happy place.